Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I want to share with you the ATG, the tape glider wide width, which is the one that um, fits a half inch tape um, and that now comes in purple. So it's a smaller profile, it has angular edges, so it's easy to stand it up in whichever direction is comfortable for you. So that way you can have it on your desktop. It comes with the packaging, um, has the gun the ATG dispenser, uh, a roll of half inch tape, and the paper instructions. I'm going to put them aside for a minute because the inside has quick start instructions. So in order to open it, you just depress this little indentation here, and it opens up. And actually, this one opens up even easier than the pink one. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to load it. There's the quick start instructions on how to load it. So it has two wheels. Uh, the wheels will only turn if you depress the handle. So you can see right there. If you try to move it, it won't because there's a stopper. So let's put the tape in and then I'll show you the comparison between the half inch and the, <coughs> excuse me, well-known pink quarter inch one. So it comes in this tape with a 3M. Um, I saved a little piece of wax paper to make my own glue dots rather than toss it out. So I'm gonna peel up the starter and the tape goes in this way with the tape extruding from underneath so I'm gonna put that on the wheel and wait to the snaps <coughs> snaps in make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom so I could <coughs> make sure okay so see the there's three recesses right here one of them fits this little one of the recesses has to fall into that so I want to make sure I line that up correctly Let's see I just need to wiggle it there you go so it drops in right there so this little snap is on the upper portion so now based on the instructions I take this piece of tape from underneath, not from over top, but from underneath, go around the larger wheel, and then over the the underside of the smaller wheel in the front. And at this point, I'm going to depress the uh, trigger button to give myself a, a lead. And then <coughs> in the refuse portion, there are two notches that are cut out, and you'll see them much clearer. And the notches. I'm going to take the tape and place it in and out of that one because this rolls in that direction. So I want to make sure it's a little tighter. So I'm going to hold on to this, depress the button to give myself a little bit of a head start. You want to make sure this is taunt in order for your tape to dispense properly. Before going to use it, you have to remove this. So just remove it, close that. Let me grab a piece of paper. Look at that, I have a matching purple. So let's see. I want to make sure I have the tape dispensed to a point where I have actual adhesive on it. Because I did remove some of that so it wouldn't stick to me. So I have some of it right there. And then you just place it down, depress the trigger, and then pull. There you see I have a line of adhesive. <coughs> Excuse me. Runs really smoothly, very quietly as you can see. And you can place it upside down so you're not uh, touching that to anything. Uh, it's pretty sticky. Let's see if I can put another piece over it. And then I'll show you a comparison to the pink one. The reason I decided to pick up the half inch one is because I do make a lot of invitations. If you're using a quarter inch tape, <clears throat> which is wonderful, but you may not need to use as much if you're using the half inch. So here's the comparison of the two um, advanced tape gliders. They're both from Scotch. This is the pink one that takes a uh, quarter inch tape, and this is the new purple one that takes a half inch. 
as you can see the purple one is slightly smaller although it takes a well the profile wise it's a little narrower and a little smaller in profile I just have a piece of tape stuck to it uh, the handles are slightly different where there's a grip um, a larger grip on this one but a smaller trigger and the purple one has a smaller handle but a larger uh, dispense button. So that's the initial differences but let me show you uh, the two make sure I have adhesive here I'm just going to turn this over and I'll show you the so that's the quarter inch and the half inch and I think the best way to show the difference is actually if I put some <coughs> glitter on it. So let me get a piece of paper and put some of this art glitter on it so you can see the difference between the two. So that's the quarter inch right there, and there's the half inch. So, really happy with this. It's really cool. I mean, I, I had wanted to pick up a, <coughs> excuse me, a half inch one, and I was so excited to see that um, it was available on Blitzy. So there's the quick comparison between the two, the quarter inch and the half inch. And um, don't forget to hold on to these instructions. You can't leave them in uh, in order for it to run. But you can save it as a little cheat sheet. What I'll also do is I'll do a scan and I'll put it up on my blog if anyone's interested. And as always, if there's any questions, please feel free to ask. Thanks for watching, everyone.